how can we find resultant force acceleration and distance traveled by a body in physics in this lecture you will learn finding all these quantities and physics we learned in the previous video that force produces acceleration in a body it means that 1 newton is a force that can produce 1 meter per second square acceleration in a body of mass 1 kg in the direction of force now let me teach you the concept of finding force and accelerated bodies calculate the force on a body of mass 20 kg if the acceleration of this body is 5 meter per second square in this numerical we have been already told about the three physical quantities i mean the mass of a body is 20 kg and the acceleration of the body is 5 meter per second square while we are asked to find the force on the body hence it is very easy according to newton's second law f is equal to ma we should remember that this equation relates the three physical quantities which are given in the numerical hence now we put the value of mass and acceleration in this equation hence f is equal to 20 kg multiplied by 5 meter per second square thus i get f is equal to 100 newton it means that this body experiences a force of 100 newton or we can say that 100 newton is the force that can produce 5 meter per second square acceleration and a mass of 20 kg at last let me teach you that how far can a body of mass 20 kg travel in 10 second if the body experiences 200 newton force in such type of numericals first of all you should find the acceleration of a body we are already given two quantities i mean the mass of a body and the force on a body hence again using newton's second law which is f is equal to ma here we need acceleration to be calculated therefore a is equal to f divided by m now we put the values in this equation a is equal to 200 newton divided by 20 kg as a result we get 10 meter per second square acceleration here we got that 200 newton force will create 10 meter per second square acceleration in a body of mass 20 kg but in the question we are asked about the distance the body will travel if this body of 20 kg experience 200 newton force well it is very easy we know that second equation of motion can solve our problem that is s is equal to vit plus 1 over 2 at square consider that initially the body is at rest hence its initial velocity is 0 meter per second thus we put the remaining values in second equation of motion s is equal to 0 meter per second and to 10 second plus 1 over 2 and to acceleration that is 10 meter per second square and again time is 15 second putting square on it hence i get 500 meter distance this mean that if you exert 200 newton force on a body of mass 20 kg this force will create 10 meter per second square acceleration in the body and it will cover 500 meter distance in the direction of force i hope you have learned these concepts thank you very much 
for watching this lecture.